you know, I just really want to take a moment right now to just be blessed. Be blessed for this very moment that you're living in right now. Be blessed for your human body that you have. You know, God put you into that body for a reason and it's time for you to cherish and love yourself. Love your body. Look at your fingertips right now. Look at your hands. You know, look at your arms. This right now is a body that your soul is living in. Your soul is currently living in this temporary body. And guess what? You're not going to be in it forever. You know, you have what? I don't know what the actual statistic is, but like I would say about 80-something years is about the time that people start to pass away just from old age. You do not have that much time on this earth. This life lies by. It flies by. And those who are older and they're getting to the end will tell you that it is like a blink of an eye that this life is. And then guess what? It's time for you to move on into the afterlife. And that afterlife is eternity. Eternity with the one and only God who is always always be there for you throughout this whole human life. This earthly flesh life that we have right now, it's time for you to open your eyes and see why you're here. Why did God put you here? Hmm? Why did he put you in that body, in that place, wherever you are? He put you there for a reason. And it's to find out what your purpose is in this life and to bring people closer together, to make us open our eyes to realize that we're not supposed to be divided. We're supposed to be one with each other. God is love. And all we have to do in order to live the way God wants us to live is to love. That's it. It's not that hard. Love everyone in this world. Love yourself. Love your family, your friends. Love the neighbor across the street. Just love everyone. It's time to put an end to talking bad about people and putting people down. Why waste any single second of your life in a negative way when it happens so fast it feels like it's so long it feels like it's the longest thing you'll ever do but it's not it isn't the longest thing you'll ever do is when your soul leaves this body that's the longest thing that you'll ever do and sometimes we get so distracted with life that we forget about it you know, we start talking to people and we start to get into a conversation about talking about someone not in the best way or just getting distracted by daily life. And that's what, that's what the enemy wants. That's what, there is good and there is evil. And the evil in the world wants you to get distracted. He wants you to get distracted. He wants you to lose focus on God. That's what the enemy wants. That's what Satan and evil wants. They want you, he wants you to miss your purpose in life. He wants you to miss following God. He wants you to, he's doing everything that he can. He's in front of you and he is trying so hard. He's trying so hard to get you to lose focus, lose track of why you're here. And guess what? I am here to tell you that the enemy in front of you is not stronger than the God behind you. The God behind you will always be able to take on that enemy in front of you. You cannot lose focus. It is God right behind you at all times, protecting you, loving you, saving you, here to open your eyes and realize this is why you're here. Do not let that enemy in front of you 
distract you from your purpose. That is why you have to stay focused. Stay in that path with God and you will find your bliss. You will find your purpose of why you're here. Do not let that enemy get you. Do not let him get you because you are stronger than you think and you have the angels around you at all times always watching you, protecting you, and looking over you to save you from who this enemy thinks he is. Who does he think he is? Because you are strong. You have God. You have the angels, the Most High Jesus Christ. And it's about time that you realize every single human, every single animal, every single lake, life on this earth is here on this earth for a purpose we all have a purpose and the way to find that purpose is to start talking to your leader your leader is God your leader will show you he's here he's like I know why you're here I know Lindsay I know Kelly, I know Annie, Brenda, Michael, I know why you're here. And all you need to do is just turn around and open your arms to me. And I will embrace you and I will show you. I will show you it all. I will show you your reason, your purpose, but you cannot stray away. You can't walk away because I'm right here. I'm right behind you at all times. I've always been. I've always been here. And all I need you to do is just trust in me that I'm here to show you. He is a strong, powerful father. And he's always looking down on you with open arms, with his angels. At all times, Jesus is right there. Jesus is right there. Angels are all there. God is always there. They're always right there. We cannot see them because of this human body that we're living in, but our soul that's inside this human body can feel it. I wanna just take a moment and say that that phone call that I just got was from a number and it, was, it said none. None. I'm not getting it. No one's distracting me right now from this. God has always loved you. Always will. It's about time that those that don't know that realize it. And the thing is, is no matter how far you are, you can be so far off into the feel, you can feel so far off into the distance from God. But guess what? No. Nope. You can never stray that you could never stray too far from God. Ever. Ever. He is always there. Just waiting. Just just waiting. Just walking around. Just like hovering over you. Just loving you. And you're just there, just doing your thing. And God's always there. You know, Jesus is there. Your angels, your guarding angels. You have this whole force behind you at all times that you always had. But you may not have realized. May not have realized. And you know, it's about time that we start to open our eyes and realize that you are never alone. You are never alone. God is always there. He's always with you. And he always has been, always will be, will never forsake you. God is always going to be there for you always and there's one there's one thing that's trying so hard to stop it and we know who that is and guess what he's not gonna win he's not gonna win because like I said God is the most high God is stronger than any evil. It's about time for us to start waking up. 
wake up. Start opening your eyes to what this is. I started and now look what's happening to me. So many things are happening to me. I can't even explain to you how powerful I feel inside after finding the Holy Spirit and finally opening my eyes. And I always had the relationship with God. I always had a strong bond with God and I always believed in him and I stuck up for him and if anybody said anything about him I'd always stand up if my boyfriend at the time would always start making fun of me about how I believed in God I would never ever forsake God ever he would tell me that I was stupid for believing in God that I was silly for looking at the Bible and guess what I did I told him listen I know in my heart in my soul and that's all I need. I don't need anybody to tell me what to do, what to think, because I know what I feel inside. And it's strong, and it's powerful. And if you are able to just feel that feeling, it's the most powerful, most attractive, beautiful thing. And I always had it, and guess what, recently, I got into another level with God. I don't know how to explain this feeling. I don't know what to do about it. But I feel like I need to go somewhere and preach to people to tell them about this. Because this is no joke. This is serious. And it's time for you to get up and open your eyes to the world. And what are you doing? Because God is right there. And if you ever say that God is not there, you never gave him a chance. It's time for you to give God a chance. Give him a chance and he will show you what he can do. He will prove to you. He will prove to you that he's always been there. And then once you do, you will finally see it like I see it. And there's nothing like it. And you will live the rest of this human life in the best possible way that you can. Until you leave your body, this human body, and you get to be in the spirit with the one who's always been there, who always has been there, and you can finally feel the spiritual sense of the God instead of just in the flesh right now that you could feel. I ask all of you to come together as we pray and bow our heads as we Give thanks to this God that has always been there for us and always has been, always will be. Dear God, we thank you so much every single day for being the man, our Father, who loves us and will never leave us, who has the open arms constantly wrapped around us, ready for us to just lead us the way, God. Show us the next path. Show us what we must do in order for us to follow you, Jesus, God, Holy Spirit. Please give us the signs. Show us what we need to see. God, show us. Show us what we must do on this heavenly earth before we leave our human bodies because we know that we are only here for a temporary time until we go into the afterlife with you. God, we thank you so much for giving us our family and our friends this gift of life and everything that you've ever given to us. We appreciate it all, God. We are so grateful and so thankful, so blessed for everything, for, for being able to just live this life. God, we love you so much and it's so incredible. Everything that you've ever done.